Sahel, the only child brought up by his mother, was allegedly shot by a 38-year-old officer on June 27th, who in his defense stated the teenager driving a yellow Mercedes had blowed into police officers, leading one of them to shoot. The officer has been charged with voluntary homicide and placed in temporary arrest. As the protest ran into fourth day, more than 944 people have been arrested and at least 200 police officers injured as the government struggled to restore order on a third night of unrest. As authorities prepared for a fourth straight night of protests, the French government said on June 30th that it would increase the number of police deployed nationally to 45,000 in effort to quell rioting sparked by the fatal shooting of a teenager by a police officer during a traffic check. People set fire to schools, town halls and police stations and police used tear gas, water cannons and dispersion grenades to disperse the rioters, the spokeswoman claimed. The Paris region's bus and tram services were suspended out of an abundance of caution and numerous tram lines were closed throughout Friday morning rush hour. Analysts say the administration is desperate to avoid a recurrence of 2005 when the killing of two African-American boys in a police chase ignited three weeks of violence. For more news updates, subscribe, like and share.